So I came across a very interesting study just today, and you probably know about a product that's called Rogaine. It's a liquid that guys use to grow hair. The active ingredient of this medication, because it's a medication, is called minoxidil. In its oral version, this medication is used to treat high blood pressure, but in 1987, scientists discovered that putting that medication topically is good for treating hair loss in both men and women. So the topical version of this medication comes in two strengths, 2% and 5%. And I actually use the 2% liquid on my eyebrows with some, some results, I have to say, but I stopped using it after probably a year because I've heard some instances that people lose some fat around their eyes when they're using this medication but i think that was more related to latisse than this medication but i kind of stopped i have to look look it up a little bit more so anyway according to the study this medication apparently works also on stimulating nail growth and they did not explain how they use the medication but i assume they used a drop of the liquid around each nails so around the matrix area around the lunula area because that's where the nail is growing so let's look at the study very quickly linear nail growth rate is affected by various conditions one of which is a level of blood flow. Our supposition was that topical minoxidil, which is a vasodilator, so it widens the, the vessels, the blood vessels, can increase the rate of nail growth. The aim of the study was to determine the impact of topical minoxidil on nail growth. A 5% solution was applied twice daily on the fingernails of 32 participants. And then they go about the study. They also said that the results were already visible within the first week because the average length of the nails treated was greater than the nails in the untreated group with statistical significance. So let's look at this significance. So also they mentioned that there was no systemic or cutaneous side effects. So there was no side effects when it comes to the skin, also like internally. So during the first month, the, the average growth of the treated nails was 4.27 millimeter a month, 3.91 millimeters a month in the untreated nails. So that makes sense because nails grow about one millimeter a week. These findings suggest that 5% concentration of topical minoxidil can stimulate the nail growth with increased growth beginning in the first week of application. The results might have important implications for treatment of nail disorders. However, a comparable study involving participants with nail disorders is highly recommended. So other than that, there was no more studies that I can find about this. So the difference in the growth though, although they say it's significant, it's really not that significant because it's really after a month, the treated nails were only one third of the millimeter longer. So this is how much longer the nail was. So four millimeters is this much. And let's say, let's even say five millimeters is this much. So I, I don't know, I don't know if, with naked eye, you could see a difference. So I'm just curious, what do you guys think? Do you think that this treatment, this medication is worth the cost and would you try it? So let's say when you're trying to regrow damaged nails from like gels or acrylic or over filed nails, let me know what you think. I'm very, very curious.